Chase. Happy Monday. Welcome to Chats with Chase. Here's your next tip. There's a common issue we see when it comes to visualize with assemblies. When importing assemblies into visualize, there are a few options given, a few of which can have some issues if they aren't thought about a bit. The main issue we see people calling in about revolves around import grouping. Just for a very clear example, here I have an assembly of a bike in SOLIDWORKS. I want to create a render of this, and I'll worry about applying appearances in Visualize instead of doing any of that here. When I go to open the part in Visualize, I just leave it on automatic grouping. This usually does pretty well with grouping. It combines a few of the other options to mimic how it would be treated in real life. It takes a little bit to load, but once it does, we can drag over our appearances to make it look how we want. If we go and check the Models tab, we can see that almost every part from SOLIDWORKS has its own entry here. That's fine, and it makes appearances easy to customize, but can be tedious if you have to manually apply them to each part, which is why import grouping can be useful. But just to show how that can go wrong if you're not fully aware, I'll import this again with some different settings. If I select, say, Appearances, it goes pretty quick. However, since every item in SOLIDWORKS had no appearance when we brought it over, it recognizes it all as the same and treats the entire assembly as one part. Now this is a pretty exaggerated example, you usually wouldn't have every single part without an appearance, but if a few happen to have the same appearance in SOLIDWORKS and won't in the final render, it can cause some issues down the line. The user would need to restart the visualize process to separate these out again because they're all being viewed as one single part. Thanks for watching. Contact me with any questions and I'll see you tomorrow.